Should I assume you didn't mean it like that? Or should I assume you know exactly how you said it? You know exactly how you meant it? Should I assume it's me, sweet? Hey YouTube! This lighting. My name is Naya and you are watching Naya Milani TV and today coming to you with a video that I've waited all year to make. It's time. So as you guys know it's the month of October, Halloween is coming, and I am coming to you guys with this lovely makeup tutorial. It's my um what is this ice cream skeleton um makeup tutorial. I got inspired from another YouTuber. She did a ice cream skeleton makeup tutorial. And then when I looked it up on Google, there was like all these other pictures to look off of. So I did it as well, as you can see. I put my own little twist with the glitter and um, the lipstick. So if you guys keep watching, you can definitely, um, I mean, learn how to do it. Duh. The only thing that I will say is the other YouTubers that I saw that got their face paint, they got it off of line. And because I kind of got inspired like last minute, I didn't have the opportunity to get it offline. Otherwise, I would have missed, you know, recording it before Halloween. So I got mine out of Walmart, my face paint, and it cracks really bad. You can't see it too much on camera, but in person, the paint isn't smooth everything else went pretty smoothly and I was not putting an ice cream cone on my head one because I'm not about to waste ice cream cones like that I eat ice cream cones I don't put them on my head and two where I'm gonna put it where I'm gonna put it I'm just gonna stop rambling and let you watch me do my makeup so yeah bye I'm gonna do like a proper little outro like we're gonna there you go now go <laughs> Okay, so I jumped straight into the video. My first step was to take a white liner or eye liner, lip liner, whatever, and map out where I wanted all the paints to separate. Tell me, tell me if you love me enough, love me enough, love me enough. If the house on you, I'm lucky enough, lucky enough, lucky enough. You gotta tell me if you love me enough, love me enough, love me enough. I'm wishing for you, I'm a lucky now, lucky now, lucky now. I'm wishing for you. So once I finished mapping, I jumped straight into painting. I bought three face paints, a red, a blue, and a white. And I mixed the red and the white to make the pink, and then the red, the blue, and the white to make the purple. Don't mind my face, I was watching Grey's Anatomy. But um, yeah, I got straight into filling in where I wanted everything to be filled in. So the um, right side of my face was pink, the left side was purple, and you'll see the camera cut off, but I mean, you don't have to watch me paint my face, you pretty much, I'm, I'm sure you know how to paint your face after you mapped everything out. But yeah, the right side was pink, the left side was purple, and then the bottom half was white for the different flavors of ice cream. So after fanning and a lot, my camera actually cut off when I had originally started shading around where the curves were, but I just wanted to add in more definition. So wherever you see black was where I was trying to add in 
like darkness to the curve in a sense. I ended up covering it of course with the pink and the purple because I'm not about to walk around with black squiggles in my face. But in a sense it was for the shading purpose if that makes any sense. I also used eyeshadow too. But yeah like I said my camera kept cutting off because it was overheating and it was irritating me. So you can see where I mapped out where the ice cream was going to go on my shoulders and also where I drew the X's. Um, for I guess like the cone slash skeleton portion. It's pretty self-explanatory after you map everything out. But um, yeah, I mapped out where I wanted it on my shoulders and my neck and I filled that in with a sponge. So now I started filling my nose in with red. I kind of wanted like a cherry on top at first and then I later mixed setting powder and two different glitters because I wanted like a glittery cherry on top, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't make sense, it's just in my world it makes sense because I love glitter. But I filled it in with red paint so it could have a red base and then over top of it I put glitter and setting powder so the glitter could stick to the paint and the setting powder could keep everything together. times with um, the same paint, the pink paint, the white paint, the purple paint, and also my brown, my brown um, foundation just for the sake of detail to fill in cracks, bumps, curves, etc. that I wanted to be filled in. And this is probably why this literally took me four to five hours to do because in between everything you have to fan yourself to dry and we haven't even gotten into the details. So now comes the fun part, <laughs> jokes. <laughs> I went back in after my shading and filling, I went back in with like, I guess highlights. So that would be like the tip of where the ice cream would drizzle is where I kind of gradated white over top of it. Remember I at first had started with black and in person it made a difference. It made a very big difference in depth. I feel like it didn't pick it very, it, uh, it didn't pick it up very good on camera, but in person it made a pretty big difference in depth. The white um of course also made a difference in depth, but anywhere where the ice cream would drizzle is where you, where I gradated the white and like made it turn into the purple. And I did that not in every drizzle, but like every other, just to keep it looking artsy. I went in with some eBay lashes that I had as well as um, two ColourPop colors in Zipper and Bumble which you will see in a second. I did the pink half of my face with Zipper on that half of my lips and the purple half of my face with face with Bumble on that half of my lips and then I went back in with some white face paint just to make the lipstick really crisp around the edges. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share it with your friends. If you do this look, make sure to tag me or any other YouTuber really that you've seen do it. Love you guys so much and bye.
But should I assume you know exactly how you said it? You know exactly how you meant it. Should I assume it's me? Sweet disposition, switching position, talking submission. Should I assume it's a weekend thing? Boy, you can get ass all week, dropping that ass. Just think about me, think about me, and it sound good. What's the difference if it sound good? What's the difference if it's still good? What's the difference if it's still good? Just not yours exclusively. Used to be all good. Trade it up, now it's all bad. Find it up, credit all bad. Getting on, never saw 